Nice, yeah, I like I that. I'm not gonna lie, that's a good shot. I'm Vanil, it's Trey. JT Wolf. Autumn, Chia. Yes, and you are now live with some more Catered Chaos, unless you're checking these videos out on YouTube. Mm-hmm. We do the live stream every Thursday night at... 7! PM Eastern Standard Time. That is correct. <laughs> so, if you're checking this video out on YouTube, we would love to have you on the stream one day. But... Until that time comes, make sure to <laughs> like, comment, share, subscribe. Do all the YouTube things that help to increase the engagement on this video. The more that you do it, the more it allows us to lock in our algorithms. And that essentially allows us to get you guys even more catered chaos in the future. Woo. Let's get into our three trailers for the night. Um, we're going to start scaling back on trailers so that we can increase time for like the shows. Um, so without further ado, which is funny because we got Joker, Fole Adu, um, which is the second Joker movie. Um, they came out with the official trailer. Who, who, who is it that's going to be alongside him? Uh, uh, is it Lady Gaga? Lady Gaga. Yeah, there we go. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so yeah, we got uh, Lady Gaga and we got, dang, I had literally had his name, Napoleon. That's Joaquin. Joaquin Phoenix. Phoenix. There we go. Phoenix. <laughs> Good old Joaquin. Joaquin. <laughs> yeah. Um, did y'all like the first Joker? Uh, I liked it. It was. I liked it. Was decent. The pace of it. Um, it, it was, was decent. Good. Like if I could just like disassociate with <laughs> the Jokers that I'm, I'm really used to, and just have him as his own Joker, like this is his adaptation. Then I think it was a pretty cool film. You wanted the suit, didn't you? I. I no, the suit was fine with me. I think the suit was fine. I think I was like, okay, hey, look, they're trying to do their own thing. And that's what kind of really switched my gears yeah. when it came to that. Instead of grinding, I got you. <laughs> I like seeing the different uh, interpretations of each Joker. Like, uh, I've enjoyed them all just because, like, I'm not, I, I just like watching the movies, I guess. And so, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, so I like this. I like this Joker too. So I'm interested to see what the second movie is gonna be about. <laughs> yeah, I'm banking on the musical. Yeah, that one. It is a musical. That's what? Not, that's uh, not a secret. I, I, yeah. I didn't I, know. I, that's so I, awesome. Yeah. No, no. Yeah, they hired Lady Gaga specifically because this. Oh, one that's the reason. Cool. Okay. Oh, okay. <gasps> Did, what? See, I didn't Cats look. Out the bag. This might be my favorite Joker. Movie. Do to me, <laughs> it's, it's do to me. I love musicals. But I mean, the Joker, you know, it, it didn't, it didn't. I didn't get the hype that everybody else got. I think it was a decent film. Where I would watch it again, probably not, and so much other stuff. But I'm not saying it was bad. I'm saying it, was, you know, it just didn't capture me like everybody else did. But um, I think it's just the difference of it. Just I think people gravitated to. It feel like. They were kind of utilizing the same premise with the Joker uh-huh. and stuff, but giving like more of a inner side of Joker and just seeing how he became the Joker and yeah. everything. I think they gravitated to that. It was definitely just a different touch on how DC is doing their movies yeah. and things. And this had a solid popularity to it. Because, yeah, I mean, I, for me, you know, I don't want to get too controversial, but. You know, I want to see like, yo, this is a Joker that can really outsmart Batman or some, you know, be on some other stuff where he's like, yo, he's he that dude when he enters the room, and I felt like he kind of just fell for it. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, what do you what do you think, Trey? Uh, I don't think we should get into this because we gonna go back and forth about DC movies if we do that. Yeah, no um, kidding. I'll be like, uh, <laughs> no kidding so around. which anime are we? <laughs> no, um, I think overall, to me. Joker is a good working version of what people say the Snyderverse was. Okay. I'll put it that way. Because I think that they did something that was very different, but it captured the essence of like what the Joker was for the film. I, I understand what you're saying, because he's not the traditional Joker in the movie. Mm-hmm. But in the essence of what the Joker is to Gotham, I think he's portrayed well for what that Gotham because it was a Gotham without Batman, and it was a Gotham that was more down-to-earth and gritty. Um, And all of those things and all the changes they made were things that people said the Snyderverse wanted to do, 
but I ain't see them do that. So, yeah, so it's, without getting in too much back and forth, that's, no, that's I get it. where I, I kind of fall with that movie. I don't think it's really that great. I do agree with you there. Um, it's about like a six or a seven to me. Um, but, yeah. I'm at a six. I didn't, I didn't necessarily mind watching it. Um, I'm, 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 I, was at a I really want to ask her about uh, Jared Leto Joker. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna let that one ride. You're gonna ask me about it? Yeah, because you said I you liked every version of the Joker. I'm a gangster to <laughs> love no <teeth>. me back. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like he got um. He got gypped though. Yeah, yeah. I, I would like, like to see I don't think that actually explored. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't like I hating on the Jared Leto Joker. It's just, it's just there was too much. That was like somebody looking at like the Joker and being like, "I want everything in." And then, <laughs> um, this version of Joker was like, uh, "I just need the the basic premise. I don't need anything else. <laughs> Nothing too crazy. Yeah, just the slim, the simplicity of it and stuff." That Jared Leto, he was on too much Mountain Dew. Uh, I would like to see him be a main villain to see really, you know, get the feel of whether he's good or not. That, that's where I'm at. I, I can't really judge the dude from what we've seen so far because, I mean, I don't think he had too much to work with anyways. <laughs> and how much dancing Mr. Phoenix had with the Joker, I could definitely see the second one as it being a musical. It fits. Yeah. So just got to see what happens through it. Trey, I'm, I'm, I'm going to ask you this. Michael's, I'm not going to comment. I just want the answer. Mm-hmm. I'm going to shut up with everything else. Which one up. Which one would you rather have a full movie about? This Joker or the Jared Leto? Uh, I'd rather have this Joker than the movie. But like, I understood. Like, yeah, it's it's not even close. Okay. The landslide the, victory. The, yeah, Jared Leto <laughs> Joker, they just did a little A winner too has much. been decided. Okay. Um, it's like, too much salt, too much sugar. Yeah, it's, <laughs> okay. it's like this Joker I could be afraid of because he he seems like a deranged person okay. that could flip on me at any moment. I get Jared it. Jared Leto's Joker, I genuinely don't know why people just don't shoot him. Yeah, because to be honest, like whenever he walks time. through, I have this problem with Joker in general and like comics and everything. Oh, people <laughs> hype him. Here we go. People <laughs> hype him up a lot, and I'm just like, dang. It's kind of crazy that this man can take a bullet and all y'all just, like, cower. But Jared Leto's version of the Joker, I especially was been like, all right, y'all doing a lot of stuff for people that can just shoot this man and be done with him. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, I agree I'll, with that. I want to I want to see a version where it's like, yo, you just have straight up fear. Like, we as an audience get that fear because, mm-hmm. the, the you know, the Joker from The Dark Knight, we... Like, people was fearing this dude. Like, yo, look, I don't even want to try it. You know, so it <laughs> you know what I mean? Disappear. And that's why I want to kind of see with uh, uh, another Joker's where it's like, yo, the reason why nobody shot this dude yet is because everybody's scared because we don't know what this dude want to do next. Well, see, like, the thing with the Dark Knight and the thing that I think works with Joker is uh-huh. that his personality works when he's new to Gotham. That's why it worked in Dark Knight uh, because okay. they didn't really know what he was about. Yeah. And by the time they figured it out, he was done. It was like, <laughs> it didn't really matter what you tried to do. Joker was set up and mm. you're not winning against him because he's already dismantled everything you're about. Yep. But when the Joker, when it's like Jared Leto and he's been <laughs> around for a while yeah. and you know what he's about. Somebody no, did. I'm not letting him get up too close to me in a club when I've been staring at Harley Quinn. <laughs> knowing good and gosh dang well that he can flip on me and it like it's stupid. <laughs> That's I got same you. same as in comics where it's just like why do people work for him or hire him for jobs? <laughs> like what who is Upwork. the person who's the person the in Arkham <laughs> outside of Harley Quinn that says, you know what, I'm gonna take a check from the Joker and let him out of Arkham. Like who does that? Hey Joker my, my check did clear. Bro, why That's why are you what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> and then <laughs> And then the only way that you can do it is to make him really scary. And then you get the question of, well, why doesn't, like, Batman just kill him? Why doesn't, it? like, all the questions that are really stupid when you start to, like, work it out. Why did anybody kill him? Kill him? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I'm just like, I've always wondered why people have that argument. Because I'm just like, why does it fall on Batman when he's the only person that consistently beats the Joker? It's on everybody else. Yeah, I put him in the jail so y'all can take him out. Yeah. <laughs> so y'all can take him like, out. I'm not about to um, chastise Batman, the only person that stopped the Joker on he not stopping the Joker enough. 
Anybody in Gotham can shoot the Joker. <laughs> like, it's, <laughs> like it's up for him in the streets. Any henchman that puts on clown makeup can just go out one day and be like, you know what? Bang. <laughs> and now we're done. The streets are safe. I'm the oh, hero oh, Gotham yeah. needed. Like, <laughs> Joker, yeah. stay on upward, boy. Like, hey, I just took out five of my thugs. My bad, my bad but I'm, <laughs> I got five more spots open. Yeah. Who want to join up? <laughs> yeah, so I do like weird versions like this. I even, even though I think that it was corny, I do like the ideas they had for even Gotham. Yeah. With how the Joker was, uh, between it being like two brothers, them both being like deranged, um, them both falling into becoming the Joker and stuff like that. Because it, as long as he has a like, not necessarily a backstory, but a reason as to how he operates, mm-hmm. Joker works great. When y'all just say he's around and people just trust this man to do normal things, I'm like, all right, so y'all just stupid. Like, who is this? Oh, uh, I think I've never gotten over Under the Red Hood uh, oh, sure. for like Rachel Ghoul hiring the Joker and his plans. He's just like, I didn't expect it. He went too far. Well, Mr. Rachel Ghoul, who's been alive for hundreds of years, what do you think this crazy clown man was about to do? Check his Facebook, his Instagram, like, check his Twitter. This man. <laughs> I'm sorry, detective. I didn't expect him to kill that child. I'm, what? <laughs> check, check anything. He beat him to death. I had to try and make it right. What are you talking about? <laughs> stupid. <laughs> oh, everybody in DC be stupid when Joker comes up. Except Batman, but everybody want to blame him. Anyway, I'm going to cue this intro that we're going to play. We're going to watch uh, this trailer. <laughs> Joker, Polly, I do. I keep um, around with this one. Yeah, which is crazy because I'm not into musicals, so I know I'm not even going to watch this movie. Bro, we <laughs> so, on the same page. Me and Trey's on the same page today. <laughs> For the first time. We're watching it for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's for you. It's for you. upset. Come on. Oh, that's a skitty. Hey, Fleck, you got a joke for us today? She's Harley in this. I think she might just be like a fanatic, but I don't know. No, they, they clearly said that I was Harley Quinn. Oh, uh, well, they see. Yeah. Over here editing stuff. So, the subtitles clearly said Harley Quinn speaking. Like, okay. <laughs> I didn't see it from here. Because I'm over here looking at the, the screen. What? Yeah, that boy is shit. I, w- I was really hoping to show, like, a fall of Harley. That would be so dope to see. The Jets, the Burmans. Yeah. You saying no, What's changed, Arthur? Well, I'll tell you what's changed. I'm not alone anymore. Don't freak. That's what we should be talking about. It's a, it's a revolution. What in the world? I want to see the real you. That's cool. Nice, yeah, I like I'll that. Say, I'm not gonna lie, that's a good shot. Ooh, and that smile makes up. That was a good shot. Yeah, yeah. You, have, you know what it should be. <laughs> Right. So, so Trey, does this change your mind? Bondell <laughs> um, too. I, 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 I would hire the person that did the trailer. <laughs> because it makes it. Yep. Yeah. Bondell's gonna see it in theaters. <laughs> Hold on, that's taking it way too far. <laughs> I'm excited. I I I don't know that I would go to the theaters to see it, but I would definitely want to watch. <laughs> 
how they make get out of Arkham. I want to see how they pull that off for this Joker that's more um, nuanced. Because, like I said, that that's like the one part of the Joker that I really don't understand. Like, how he convinces people to do it. And I get that that's, that's like awesome. a part of the the charm. Mm-hmm. It's just like, oh, he's so charming and he's so unassuming that like, or like, you assume so little of him uh, that you you just, you never, you never think that he's going to do stuff. But by the point where they are, like, currently, mm-hmm. most established Jokers, I'm just like, why does that work on y'all still? <laughs> it's like, he poisoned in the water or something like that. Um, I know he has the whole plan of, like, turning fish into Jokers so that he can copyright fish. Um, for anybody that was going to be, well, oh, um, actually. <laughs> yeah. yeah um, probably type me too. So I want to see how they make their escape because he doesn't seem as maniacal and as smart mm-hmm. as like some iterations of the Joker but he, he out on the street unless this is like a sucker punch thing and it's just all in their heads oh don't do that that's, that's oh, literally what please, I was thinking oh. like please, the I'm musical button. element is just like please don't something do in their heads <laughs> please don't that's kind of like what it was going for the first film you know well people has their certain theories that he, he he was always in the uh, he was always locked up the whole entire film. He just kind of imagined everything else. But, yeah, but I don't know. Uh, I mean, it looks again. It looks cool. Uh, it looks like he's more like his influence versus his brain. Um, I don't know. It's and also I don't think it's hardly even. Uh, what is it a psychologist? She's just. No, she looks like an. Yeah, she's just an inmate. Which she might have been a psychologist turned inmate. Yeah, yeah. I was about to say we didn't really get enough of her to see the word out. Yeah, ho- hopefully, I, I re- we really get to see like her transformation. That's that's something I would go to to the movie theaters to go see just to see how like okay, look, she started off like really like hey, look, I'm just trying to cure you or help you out here. To like hey, look, what are we about to do next? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like. I would like to see that, but if they don't show that, of course, you know, that was just an idea. It wouldn't break me for not to go see the movie, but again, I would push to go see that. Yeah. I don't know that they will because it's already so different in this universe. Yeah, that's true. Um, I just think the setup will be, like, very different. I think it, I think it'll be straightforward to what the trailer was, um, okay. where she's an inmate for whatever reason, um, or she's been admitted for whatever reason because, you know, Harkin's not a jail. Call. Yeah. Um, <laughs> gosh dang, super villain, super max, but whatever. Um, yeah, I think it'll be as straightforward as it's played out. Um, I'm interested in the idea of their relationship, but it's just, you know, it's a musical. Um, it's for a movie that I wasn't like super invested in. Um, interested in seeing how well Lady Gaga does, I guess, but that's that's about it and the breakout if if it's not like the theory in the other movie where it's just like this is all in their heads it's all the we'll dream. see mm-hmm. we'll see but uh, that's what we got for Joker yeah <laughs> uh, any other added thoughts I like the we're booking the tickets <laughs> I watch. I, 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 I need some. Yeah. Good, I need. Well, never mind. I can't even say I need some good reviews because sure. well, I didn't agree with the last reviews. Okay, so I don't know. We'll see. Second trailer. Let's let's go for the second trailer. Well, actual let's official go. trailer, yeah, not the teaser question. trailer. Do I have a question? Let me see here. Who is who's your favorite Joker adaptation? Oh, Mark Hamill. <laughs> so you oh, so you, want me to, you want me to comment on YouTube? Got you. <laughs> yeah, well, who who is you guys' uh, favorite Joker adaptation? And if you're looking forward to the second adaptation of this uh, Joaquin Phoenix Joker. Yeah. And while you guys are down below letting us know, feel free to like the video if you enjoyed it, share it with somebody that you think might enjoy it as well, and subscribe to the channel. We're on our way to our first. Thousand. 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 Triple zero. <laughs> in the C2 Army enlist today and become one of our first recruits. 
<laughs> Trey never been the same, boy. Say, I'll die in the reference. <laughs> it's really in there. It's in my brain. Yeah, you know, you know democracy right out here only jokes. Yeah, for democracy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, while you're commenting, feel free to <laughs> check out the link in the description. It'll be a link to all of our socials, including our Discord page, the C2 Circle. There, you can become a champion of the ring and be around for all the content that's going to be lined up next week when we go live at 7, 7. p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the dot. On Thursdays. Yes, that's right. <laughs> if you don't check- know, now you know. <laughs> <laughs> if you're checking this video out on YouTube, thank you so much for all your love and support. We appreciate each and every one of you. Come on out to one of the live streams one Thursday night when you can. We'd love to have you, but until that time comes... We'll just catch you in the next video with some more catered chaos. Are you just... Toodles. <laughs> Toodles. Toodles. Is that gonna be your goose saying? Toodles. <laughs> I don't think about it. I'm letting it cook. I'm letting it marinate a little bit. <laughs> marinate. <laughs> well, you have been uh, making soup for a duration of a couple of weeks. No, I have.